Hey, what's up with the vacuum? Hey, cut. Everything good. Hey. <laughs> so, so, did you, uh, did so... you like the, the, the chat? The, the Mayan chat with the music? You should, you should the, uh, the... play with that a little bit. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I just uh, downloaded the the singing alone. Yeah, yeah. But but I heard the uh, the other version with the oh Satori man. Yeah, that's awesome. beautiful. <laughs> that's 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 the real. just love it you know I I, I I I it was like ah yeah like that was it you yeah know? totally you know, <laughs> it complements perfect and, and that was one of those things that happened well, I'm putting it in quotes no one can see me but randomly right so mm -hmm. I just finished the edit for are you serious and so I'm like <laughs> okay organizing the file and, and making a file for you on my video editor and then like also to kind of like getting new videos to mess around with and then that like plays because I, w I was looking at it I was thinking of like um doing something with it and it plays and then like as I as I'm moving your file over like the, I click on the thing and it plays and I go oh my god this kind of goes together <laughs> and I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like at first, uh, but I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna explore that right now. What I'm gonna explore is what I noticed earlier was because I was listening to your song a lot, right? And yeah. it was the bubbling of, of the water, and I'm like, oh, I need something really, really good to like bring that out. And I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything. And then I was looking at those like microfilms, and I saw the bubbling. And I just saw it, and I'm like, oh, this is it. This is it. I got to do it. Yeah, yeah. And then as I told you, I'm like, hey, I'll probably have something tonight. But, like, it took me only, like, like two hours. <laughs> and then I was like, do, 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 do. And then, and then, so after yeah. I did your video edit, I put, I put the chanting over your song, and it, I was just like, oh, my God, this is just, like, just, like, tunes you, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 And it, it's, it's just perfect. You know, it's like... I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can't explain. It's just, oh my god, it's really amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm, I'm uh, talking to friends to to look at, for a nice location to to make some video, like oh yeah, yeah, uh, like for the, playing for the or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, oh man, for the next song, I have this other footage and it's really nice it, it, it's like uh, really brings out the prism of light <laughs> that's all I can say like, <laughs> like we're gonna ex we're gonna explore the prism of, of light <laughs> in all its glory <laughs> okay okay, yeah. okay okay but yeah <laughs> it's gonna be awesome cool um, cool oh. man I, I'm a junior you don't you know like how I felt like when I release, you know, like I well, sit, still not release it at all, but you know, like to put it, like to, to feel like okay, this is my part is done at least, uh, you know, like some part of it. Oh yeah, I feel very very good. <laughs> You're just excited about it, you know, like. Uh, the other day, I went to the to the to the club at night and play with Pachi, who's actually the drummer from Light of Day, okay. and this other guy, Michael Rose, who used to play with 
Muddy Waters. <laughs> Damn, Muddy Waters. So, awesome. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. guy is awesome. It plays a lot. What? So we jam. We jam. It's an, an, an open night for musicians. So you, you get there and you take a guitar and play play out with them. And uh, this other guy, Jorge Araya, who is a really good bass player here. So yeah, we jam out some tunes just just for fun. So yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. What were you gonna say, John? You were gonna say something earlier. Yeah, sorry. We 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 let the, the no, discussion I'm, to another I'm, place. I'm sorry. I, I did much the same. <laughs> I've been tapping this drum here. I'm, Heck I'm, yeah. Um, there, was this, there was this thing, and I couldn't find the website to, to, to reference it correctly, but basically the the concept was like a, uh, exquisite uh, audio, uh-huh. where the project was that like they had certain ideas or, or concepts, and then they rented out the studio, and like people would have like jam sessions, and there would be all this audio, and then like later... They go and edit it, and he said he got inspired by, um, who was it? Oh, my God. It was um, some jazz player used to do this where, you know, it was just like a lot, a lot, a lot of sessions of them jamming out. And then later um, editing and, and layering on, on top of uh, uh, things. And um, yeah, yeah. I feel like oh. I feel like what we we're talking about going deeper. So, you know, like within within the vacuum's final cut of the, the song is like this really great vivid um exploration yeah. of the sounds to like really um have a good start to like build upon you know and like we could keep on like expanding yeah. it or or you know going yeah. wherever but like that's like our our axi axi mundi our, our central point to create mandalas uh, of, of sound and playing with, I think yeah. it would be fun. Definitely, uh, it, it is more as as you said before. It's more dynamic. There's there's more dynamic in the in the new track, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and and yeah, it, yeah it, it really creates a different scenario. Do you guys have I, it available where we could like listen to it now? Yeah, yeah there's a link. I think I put it. Uh, I just started. You put it on, you put it on the group. For like, yeah, oh, I keep wanting to play music or listen to music. Um, uh, this gonna, like, this gonna, yeah, before, you gonna like this. Before the, the, the document about um, shaking the pumpkin at Frog Pond, there, there's a link uh-huh. for, okay. for so you can watch it on the shared content. Okay. Yeah, that. I, I, that's the one I watched then, unless you've updated it. I haven't. Yeah, Check the dot. This, this is um, this is a sh- a shorter and a slightly different audio than the other one. Right. Yeah. With the chants, right? No, no, no. Uh, the chant is is a different one. This is the. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, I you that... have heard the chant one, which is a good one. I want to do right. a different visual for that. But... I remember that video though, like those those popping bubbles they stick yeah. with you. Yeah. And and in the newer one, it's a lot better too with the bubbles. <laughs> and, yeah. The the exquisite yeah, corpse though. Um, oh I've yeah. Played that with my friend like on the paper. You, you fold it up and it's like at the borders of your tile of the folded paper is. It, it's sort of this threshold where. It's like the, the telephone thing. It goes from being your drawing to, to their drawing. And they continue your, your drawing. As you were talking about um, audio it, it, exquisite, audio corpse, whatever. It's like we, we know where the borders are with, with sound. Or we, we can make borders and um, like continue things that way like we could do it right now or, or like uh, just gibberish you guys ever um, play music with gibberish or um, glossolalia is the technical term I some, believe some tongues. some tongues 
What is it? Is there a German in the chat? <laughs> well, I was I was thinking of Snow Crash where they talk about Glossolalia, but from what I understand of that, it's like the it's speaking in tongues, right? Is Glossolalia kind of yeah, yeah, like you said, gibberish. Similar. Like I haven't makes me think of jazz scat, but that's a little yes. more structured, I guess. But pretty much the same thing. I, I used to actually um, write lyrics like that, or that was one of my strategies to get around the writer's block. I'd just sort of vocalize the lyrics, and then I'd go back and try to decipher them so they made sense, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. wasn't always successful. Uh, talking about the other thing you, you were uh, saying for about the mandala and all of that, I was and the mystical part of it. Uh, there is a discussion there if, you know, like we use mystical terms to explain something that is technical in the background. Sometimes at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the debate is if that veil, that, that you know, that has to be like open. Or should sure. be, or should, should or the mystical uh, structure has to to stay, stay hidden. No, it's not hidden. Is 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 embedded in systems, in religious systems, in yeah. sects, and, and and all kinds of of whatever. But it's a mystical. Right. You know, it's a, it's something that is out. Right, it's and, and it's not only out; it's far from you. <laughs> there was, um, you know what I mean. You know, the mystical concept yeah. is that yeah, there's some god over there <laughs> watching you. You know, like <laughs> or there's this debate in the comments after an article Satori shared that talked about the clown, the, the circus dimension, and um, all all these other psychedelic elements and um for every one he took this deflationary approach where he like shrunk it down to where he could attribute it to his brain's desire for like security and to personify that with a, a god or a spirit or an archetype and uh people were really um giving it to him in the comments um several of them saying like you're just not experienced enough to realize that this is all real. Those are real spirits that you're perceiving. Yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't know, quite know what to make of it. That's funny. Like, that's another thing, you know, like the term spirit, for example. Yeah. The term spirit, we use it in a, I, I in like, a mystical sense. I, I went back because right. I, I did that. We don't you, yeah. I, I went back and I did that that final edit and um, I don't I forgot how to pronounce it. Zai, Zai um, the Chinese philosopher about the the butterfly. Yeah. And <laughs> he was talking about um, there was a quote and it was something about the uh, the house of a thousand philosophies or whatever. But anyways, he was like, okay, the problem with you you falling into a philosophy is that you you because you want to be right or 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 for uh, power or or uh, authority or you know for power or whatever you you lose a little bit of your soul uh you know for like the greater good or whatever and then then you kind of like get hollowed out and i think that that the word is a, is a vessel and and that it's um containing or or even pointing to to something real even even in these like um myths about like baku or whatever um like it maybe it's it's talking about a, a certain aspect and you know when we we're talking about how language affects perception um there was this study where um, certain tribes didn't have a, a a word for blue so it was very hard for them to distinguish blue out of a, a, a panel of green because they didn't have a word for it so they didn't they weren't able to like play and and really fine-tune uh you know that perception and i think in a lot of ways that's that's what um um a lot of these thoughts um uh, either expand or or you know our reality tunnel our our way to um 
play around in these different frequencies. And there, there's information there, you know, like whether... I think even talking about like it being real or not, like uh, I think what within the vacuum was pointing to, um, there's this thing about the deep mystery. It's it's always going to be a mystery. Like it's always like uh, beyond our grasp, and like that's what the the kind of like one thing of the dream logic. Like the more you try to grasp it, like it's it, it seems to like fall out of your hands like sand, and then like you wake up like. Yeah. <laughs> Like, <laughs> Hides from, from you. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere but nowhere. <laughs> and you're just like, oh no. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's like the the the, the, hi, uh, yeah. the hydron collider. It's like it's exactly like that. You know, it's like <laughs> trying to dig into the infinite <laughs> to looking for it. You know. <laughs> Just to decide what I'm gonna do today, I need a large hadron collider to do my calculation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do use like that sometimes. But but, but the Imaginarium <laughs> at times acts like I'm a kidding, hydron I'm kidding, I'm... acts like a hydron collider. Like you know you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you get really dank uh, uh, spores. And you just throw them in there. There's a trade reaction that lives on its own. Here. Exactly. Like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> but another thing is that if you, you know, when if you pay attention to to the processing nature and and you follow it, uh, you realize that in, in this reality, this world, whatever it is, it, it tends to to go to to search its its own balance it's like naturally it goes there you know to find balance to find equil equilibrium in the structures and you know in the plants and and how how the, the forest is balanced and it's it's it gets there it gets to, to harmonize the structures and the 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 environment the, the, and it's the same for us you know like that's why the teachings about you know to be still and in silence because you know it's in a way is to let things go to to get to its point of balance if we don't put our hands there <laughs> Yeah, it's again. going there, you know. It's going there naturally, and we're just surfing. <laughs> <laughs>